Find the weighted average given a table. A group of people were surveyed for how many movies they see in a week. The table below shows the results of the survey. So what you're seeing in this table is the people that were surveyed broken down by the total number of movies they see in a week. So for example, in that first column, four people see no movies a week. In the next column, three people see one movie a week. So for part A, when it's asking how many total people took part in the survey, all we need to do is add up the number of people in this bottom row. So I'm going to put plus signs in between the boxes to indicate that we're adding these up. So 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 10 is 17, plus 7 is 24, plus 12 is 36, plus 3, 39 total people took part in this survey. For part B, what was the total number of movies seen in a week by all the survey takers? For this part, we actually have to multiply the number of people times the number of movies they've seen in a week for each of the columns. So four people have seen no movies. That adds no movies to our total. Three people have seen one movie each. That's three. Ten people have seen two movies each. That's 20. Seven people have seen three movies each for 21. Twelve people, four movies each for 48. And three people have seen five movies each for a total of 15 movies. But since we want the total number of movies for all the survey takers, we have to add up all of these individual totals. Okay, I'm not going to circle the zero because it's not going to add anything to the total. So 3 plus 20 plus 21 plus 48 plus 15, this can be done best by adding vertically all at once. 3 plus 0 is 3, plus 1 is 4, plus 8 is 12, plus 5 is 17. So we're going to carry the 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 2 is 5, plus 4 is 9, plus 1 is 10. So for part B, our answer is 107 total movies. Part C, what was the average number of movies seen in a week per person surveyed? Round your answer to the nearest whole number. Okay, so if we want the average number of movies per person, what we need to do is divide the total number of movies, which we figured out was 107, by the total number of people surveyed, which was 39. Okay, so 39 goes no times into 10. It goes two times into 107. If we subtract 78 from 107, we're going to get 29. And then we need to expand using decimals. So if we bring down the zero, how many times does 39 go into 290? Turns out 7 times. 7 times 9 is 63. 7 times 3 is 21, plus 6 is 27. We actually don't even need to go any further because 2.7 is going to round up to 3 movies.